Today, we're diving into the ultimate showdown between Apple's latest flagship models, the iPhone 16 Pro Max and its predecessor, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We'll break down the key differences, specs, and whether it's worth making the upgrade. So let's get into it. Both the iPhone 16 Pro Max and iPhone 15 Pro Max start at the same price of $1,199. But there are some significant upgrades with the new model. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 6.42 x 3.06 x 0.32 inches and weighs 7.99 ounces, compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.29 3.02 x 0.32 inches and 7.81 ounces. Despite being slightly larger and heavier, the thickness remains consistent at 0.32 inches. In terms of performance, the iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts the new 18 Pro chip, which promises a 15% speed boost and 20% better power efficiency over the A17 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Both models offer 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and one TV storage options. The display is where the iPhone 16 Pro Max makes a noticeable leap. It features a 6.9 inch Super Retina XDR display with a resolution of 2,868, 1,320 pixels up from the 6.7 inch display with a resolution of 2,796 x 1,290 pixels on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Both models support promotion with a 120 Hertz refresh rate, True Tone and HER, but the iPhone 16 Pro Max provides a bit more screen real estate and resolution. When it comes to photography, the iPhone 16 Pro Max introduces a major upgrade with its ultra wide camera. While the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, the new model steps up to a 48 megapixel sensor, enhancing detail and clarity. The main camera remains similar, with both models sporting a 48 megapixel wide sensor, though the iPhone 16 Pro Max now features a fusion camera system. For video, the iPhone 16 Pro Max allows 4K recording at up to 120 FPS with Dolby Vision, an upgrade from the iPhone 15 Pro Max 4K 60 FPS. The new model also introduces a camera control button on the side, which can summon the camera app and function as a shutter button, adding more convenience for photography enthusiasts. Under the hood, the A18 Pro chip in the iPhone 16 Pro Max offers significant performance improvements. It features a 6-core CPU that's 15% faster and more efficient than the A17 Pro. The GPU is also 20% faster with double the performance in hardware-accelerated ray tracing. For AI tasks, the updated neural engine provides a boost in memory bandwidth and processing speed. Both models offer 5G connectivity, but the iPhone 16 Pro Max upgrades to Wi-Fi 7, promising better performance for future network infrastructure. USB-C remains the standard for both, providing fast data transfer and charging capabilities. Battery life sees an improvement in the iPhone 16 Pro Max with up to 33 hours of video playback compared to 29 hours on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Wireless MagSafe charging speeds have also increased to 25 watt. The iPhone 16 Pro Max continues with the grade five titanium frame introduced in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but it's now available in new colors, including desert titanium. The build quality is robust, maintaining the IP68 rating for water and dust resistance. If you're an iPhone 15 Pro Max owner, the decision to upgrade might not be straightforward. While the iPhone 16 Pro Max offers a larger display, a better ultra-wide camera, and improved performance, the changes may not be compelling enough for those satisfied with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, if you're coming from an older model or seeking the latest features, the iPhone 16 Pro Max definitely stands out. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on the iPhone 16 Pro Max? Is it worth the upgrade? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Take care.